Hello, and welcome to the complete history of grapefruit. First of all, almost all citrus fruits that exist today come from a mix of three fruits. These three fruits are the mandarin, the citron, and the pomelo. A sweet orange, for example, is 5 eighths mandarin and 3 eighths pomelo. Confusingly, a grapefruit is a cross between an, a sweet orange and a pomelo. Even though the mandarin, the citron, and the pomelo all grow in southeastern Asia, the grapefruit actually originates from Barbados. This happened when this guy named Captain Shaddock came to Barbados with pomelo seeds, and that's why sometimes pomelos are referred to as Shaddocks. It's after Captain Shaddock. Then, once on the island of Barbados, the pomelo seeds crossed with the sweet orange to create the grapefruit. We don't know if the pomelo and the orange was bred intentionally or accidentally, but we do know that the first documented case of the grapefruit was by Reverend Griffiths Hughes. Reverend Griffiths Hughes was searching for the descendants of the tree of good and evil from the Garden of Eden. When Reverend Griffiths Hughes had found the grapefruit, apparently he thought it was the descendants of the tree of good and evil because he dubbed it the forbidden fruit. The first recorded use of the word grapefruit, however, was in 1814 by John Lennon in his book Hortus de May Census. He said, and I quote, There is a variety known by the name of grapefruit on account of its resemblance and flavor to the grape. But the problem with that is that grapefruit does not taste like grapes. The explanation that I read is that John Lennon probably did not actually ever taste the grapefruit. Therefore, it is probably a mistake. But why is it called the grapefruit? The grapefruit doesn't look like grapes, or it doesn't really taste like grapes, does it? The answer to this is that when grapefruit is growing, it grows in clusters like grapes. Which is weird, right? Like, it's weird. The grapefruit was first brought to the United States in 1923 by this guy named Count Odette Felipe. He brought the grapefruit to Florida. At first, it was not very popular because of its thick skin. Grapefruit was also unpopular because of its sour taste and the fact that it wasn't a hand fruit. Grapefruit is first spread from Florida to Texas in 1893. And there, it was still very unsuccessful, but they kept on experimenting. Finally, in Texas, in 1929, after 40 years of experimentation, there finally was a mutation that is often held as the most important mutation in the history of fruit, and that is the ruby red variety. The ruby red variety was all of a sudden much sweeter than the previous variety, and all of a sudden, it was much more popular. There you go. And finally, there was a thriving grapefruit industry in Texas, and later eventually Florida as well. In 2018, 517,000 tons of grapefruit were grown. That's a lot of grapefruit if you ask me. It's more than I could eat. <laughs>